everyone welcome to plants and politics so in a letter posted today anonymous sent a warning to co-conspirators and fellow pedophiles of jeffrey epstein and it, the letter calls out a few high profile figures by name which i'll get to in just a second but if you're not familiar i mean i can't imagine that anybody listening doesn't know what anonymous is but just to kind of sum it up, it's a group of hackers. Nobody knows exactly who's behind it or how many people are behind it, but they have, are known for hacking into people's computers uh, and outing people who are committing crimes, who are doing things that are wrong and harming the world. So this is one of their pet projects, kind of. They're very focused on Epstein and his whole child sex trafficking ring. So in this letter, Anonymous makes clear that if the outcome of these many Epstein lawsuits don't end with jail time and a complete dismantling of this child sex trafficking ring, they plan to take action on their own. So what caught my eye the most was this sentence, which names some names, <laughs> some big names. Um, as I've mentioned, as I've talked about here, there's some people out there that everybody keeps denying that they haven't done anything, but yeah, their names keep coming up. So Anonymous writes, quote, the evidence that has come out in years since indicates that Epstein's properties acted as a pipeline that funneled young girls from low income families into elite pedophile rings that serve some of the most powerful people in the world, including Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, and Prince Andrew. So this letter goes on to cite the fact that news organizations have purposely buried Epstein stories. They mention Amy Robach, who I believe she worked for ABC she was recorded not that long ago and she admitted in the recording she didn't realize she was being recorded of course but she admitted to the fact that she had conducted numerous interviews with epstein accusers over like the last i believe five or ten years but her network refused to air any of them because quote they feared repercussions from the royal family so this, you know, just disgusting. Uh, Anonymous also calls out MIT scientist Richard Stallman, who was caught saying in an email to a colleague that Epstein's victims were, quote, entirely willing. And he said that their age was essentially insignificant. The filth in this world, it just blows my mind how many men and some women are, they're just evil. They literally are just evil. So further down in the letter, Anonymous rails against a long list of additional wealthy and public figures who they say are, quote, not only walking free, but living in luxury. The list includes very well-known people as well, such as Alan Dershowitz, Les Wexner, Bill Richardson, Jean-Luc Brunel, Alexander Acosta, who, of course, he and Dershowitz crafted that sweetheart deal for Epstein before he went on to work for the Trump administration, Eva and Glenn Dubin, Frederick Fakai, and then a couple of Epstein's victims slash co-conspirators such as Sarah Kellen and Emmy Taylor, who some women have said they took part in it, but they also had been victimized as well. So the final paragraph is where they really lay it out and make their threat. The final paragraph states, quote, many members of his cult who are still in the public eye and are still connected with a lengthy paper trail that implicates them in very serious crimes. Some of these people are in hiding Others are publicly disgraced, but still very rich, and some are still able to continue their lives as if there was no scandal at all. These are the people who this message is for. Slowly but surely, one by one, you are being investigated by independent researchers who are learning more every day and collecting information that will bring you to justice. 
you cannot escape us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Of course, that's their common sign off. But uh, yeah, if I were one of these people, I would, I would be a little bit nervous right now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if our justice system lets us down because of the connections and the money and power that these people have, I pray to God that Anonymous or whomever takes them all down. But uh, yeah, thought it was interesting that they named Donald Trump in there because so many other people are afraid to. And as I've talked about on this show, he was accused by a woman who says that she was raped by him at Epstein's home in New York multiple times when she was 13 years old and beaten. So that's the allegation. We'll see what comes of this. As always, guys, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for listening. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.